In this video, I'll introduce the direct drive motor product line from Yaskawa. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier. We'll examine each motor series, summarizing the specifications and details to see how they fit into different applications. There are three product series, the SGM7F Iron Core, the SGM7D Outer Rotor, and the SGM7E Coreless. That motor series is found within the part number, and it makes sense to realize that the numbers following the hyphen denote the rated torque in newton meters. Next is a letter code for the frame size or diameter of the motor, and the last four digits denote options such as connector location, precision, and encoder. In the rest of this video, we'll look at each direct drive motor series, their features, and target applications. Here's what an SGM7F direct drive motor looks like. I'll use the 3D model to put this into perspective. There are 17 motors in the 7F series and six frame size diameters. Frame size A, B, C, and D are the smallest, strongest, and fastest direct drive motors. The rated torque is available at up to 300 RPM and the top speed is 600 RPM. They fit well into tight spaces and work great for rapid positioning of medium inertia loads. Frame diameter M and N are significantly larger. The only comparably sized motor is the SGM7DI series, and I'll talk more about those later. The torque and load ratings of the large SGM7F motors are not as high as the SGM7DI series motors, but the rated speed is three to five times higher. These motors are clearly the largest in diameter and are designed for the most demanding high torque and high speed applications. The SGM7F are all iron core inner rotor design. Cable connectors can be mounted to the bottom or to the side on the stator itself. Here is a great example of a smaller SGM7F used to position a small part. It accelerates to rated speed in just 15 milliseconds, and the entire move completes in less than 120 milliseconds. Let's see that in slow motion. The gripper arm has far too much inertia for a standard rotary servo motor to drive without a gearbox. And even a high precision servo gearbox will have a backlash rating around 200 arc seconds. This has an impact on the repeatability and settling time of the move. Plus, the length of the servo motor, gearbox, and additional load bearing structure would not be able to fit easily into this tight space. The direct drive motor design is simple and effective. The motor bearing supports the load, plus vacuum lines and cables are routed through the hollow bore. The SGM7F is able to position the load within the published repeatability tolerance of 1.3 arc seconds with a settling time less than 20 milliseconds. The classic application of a direct drive motor is the indexing table. Parts are placed on the table and a series of operations take place at each stopping point. Some tables are large and heavy and therefore have high inertia. The SGM7F motors can be used, but many of the SGM7D motors are a better fit since they're designed for heavy loads at lower speeds. There are 29 motors in the SGM7D family and seven frame styles labeled F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. This is the smallest K frame motor. The SGM7D are all iron core outer rotor design which results in a high motor inertia and wide mounting surface. A short length of cable with connector protrudes from the stator, either straight down or to the side. Each frame style of the SGM7D series has rather unique characteristics. The F frame style has the standard donut shape. While the motor speed for the F frame is low, the torque and load capacity is extremely high, making it a good choice for rotary tables or other heavy loads. Frame G has a narrow diameter with small bore. The smallest two models have a low profile 
with a square mounting flange, and the largest is pretty long with bolts on the bottom. These motors feature a balanced design with medium torque for moving moderate loads at moderate speeds. There is just one model with the H frame. It's rather narrow, and the stator mounts from the top. This motor is optimized for smaller loads at moderate speed. The I frame is a very wide motor with extra wide bore, very high torque, and very low speed. It's a great choice for extremely large and heavy rotary tables. These can support a force of 40,000 newtons, or 9,000 pounds of force. That's pretty much the weight of a full-grown elephant. Frame J is significantly smaller than average, with moderate speed and torque, but still relatively high load capacity. It's similar to the G frame, but has a larger bore and supports heavier loads. The K frame is the smallest motor in the 7D series. It is relatively skinny and narrow, but it can move moderate loads at higher speeds than the other 7D motors. You can see that the SGM7D-L frame size motors are extremely flat. You also see that the cables connect from the side, but this is still an outer rotor design. This motor is designed for smaller rotary index tables. The SGM7E series are cordless, small capacity motors and all use the inner rotor design. They come in 11 different sizes, four frame diameters, and are designed with the same rated torque as their 7F counterparts. The side connector option is also available. A cordless motor must be physically larger to produce the same torque, but the benefit is zero cogging torque. For most applications, cogging torque on the iron core motors is not a significant factor. But the cordless design of the SGM7E produces the ultimate in smooth speed control to satisfy the most demanding applications. This table summarizes a few notable properties and secondary differences that are important for selecting a direct drive motor. All direct drive motors are powered by Sigma 7 amplifiers with 200 volt output and feature a high resolution multi-turn absolute encoder with battery backup. The runout specifications also do vary somewhat from one model to the next. Runout is a measure of the manufacturing tolerance of the motor output flange. This is especially important for rotary tables to operate consistently. Many of these motors offer a high precision manufacturing option in order to improve this tolerance. You see on this table that the ingress protection rating of the SGM7D is lower than the others and that these motors are also not UL listed. However, some of these motors do support massive inertia ratios. This is due in part to their low speed rating, which results in low kinetic energy requirements for regen and dynamic brake resistors. One final distinction on the SGM7D motors is that they require the servo amplifier option called FT82 or FT83. This option does not add or remove any particular features of the amplifier, but it is required because the internal settings of the FT82 amplifier option support the large number of poles that characterize many of the SGM7D series motor designs, some of which have more than 300 poles. The FT82 option is available on Sigma 7 drives with Mechatrolink 3 interface, analog pulse input, EtherCAT, Sigma 7 SIEC, Sigma Logic 7 Compact, Sigma Logic 7 Modbus, and the indexer option FT83. Thank you for watching this video. Please go to yaskawa.com for the latest details on our direct drive servo motors.